Happy third line day to you. You can see that it is gate 26 in the third line. And this is about influence here with the third line. It's the gate of the egoist. So the power of the ego to gather support. That's where it's exalted because the sun exalts that line. And then where it's grounded is in the earth of the gate 45, line three. And here's the line of exclusion, the instinct to find a way to be included in a material process or the expression of frustration when not included, included in a material process. So you can see it's speaking to material. This is a channel of materialism and it's the third line. Remember, all third lines are where we have potential profit for learning about and discovering what does and what doesn't work on the material plane. That's how, how we discover what does and does not work. So when you're looking at the body graph, I'm going to describe it a little bit different for you today. Instead of going through, okay, this means this and this means that, I'm going to take you through a quick practice of what you want to do when you look at your body graph in relational context to the transits. Okay, so just a demonstration. When we're looking at your design, if you've got the 21 and you don't have the 45, now we have to watch out for wanting to have things, spend more money, trying to promise, trying to prove, trying, trying to acquire more. If you have the 44, you don't have the 26, but the 26 because of the transits bringing in a really heavy influence since it's sun, earth, and nodes. You need to watch out for trying to promise, prove that you're the best, trying to convince everybody, trying to persuade everybody, and uh, trying to, again, acquire more because this is part of the stream of capitalism, yeah? So trying to have more on the material plane. If you've got an undefined heart center, you might love to spend other people's money, <laughs> money that's not your own, you know, racking up credit card debt and that kind of thing. So this is something you've got to watch out for. I know I've been experiencing it, like just pushing it a little far right now. It's the holiday season, you know, it's shopping time, lots of great deals on a lot of different things. So just wanted to keep, uh, help you guys keep an eye out for that. Down here, uh, if you've got the 54 and you don't have the 32, what you need to watch out for is runaway ambition, where, because remember gate 54 is about ambition, and where we can have this need or want for p potential transformation, and this is about achieving more on the physical material plane. So it means then you might be spending money when it comes to, well, if I take this course, then maybe that will help me be able to establish a solid foundation for my business and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so those are some of the things to watch out for in the stream of capitalism. Now, if you've got the 50 and you don't have the 27, what you have to look out for is spontaneous overdoing it when it comes to trying to take care of everybody else, take care of other people without taking care of yourself first. So you feel responsible and you think that you have to do it all by yourself in order for them or for you to survive. So watch out for that. And if you have the three and not the 60, like we were talking about last week, watch out for potential sadness, depression, melancholy, feeling frustrated, limited, stuck, and then doing something or not doing something because you feel overwhelmed with too much pressure and stress. Oh my goodness, have I felt overwhelmed in this past week. I've got Chiron in gate three, which I didn't really think of until last week. I did that transit report with you guys. And one of my um, client students said to me, hey, Lavina, your Chiron is in gate three because she's also um, a healer friend. And I was like, oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so I do have some of that going on right now. If you do not have the five, but you've got the 15, you've got to watch out for, again, the overdoing things, you know, and maybe getting locked out of your extreme rhythms and sucked into some kind of pattern that maybe it's not healthy for you because this is about uh, being in the flow. If you have the 25 and you don't have the 51, something to watch out for is I have to be first. I have to be competitive. I have to get things done. That's going to put me in a good position um, and up, give me the upper hand so that I can prove I'm a good person, that I belong, so I can find my higher self, so I can have love and direction. And this is all the all the little eyes I'm speaking with is the eye that thinks inside of your head, therefore it thinks it is, that is just conditioning, that is not true, 
to the sum totality of what you're here to be. Okay, so when I say I, that's the I'm speaking from the consciousness of the likelihood of the transit influencing you. Now, if you've got the 12 and you don't have the 22, one thing to watch out for is uh, nobody wants to hear what I have to say. Is there anybody worth listening to? I feel social or I feel antisocial. I know I can try and I'm going to try this now because I feel uh, like this is my passion and I'm going to move towards that. I'm going to make it happen. Part of the um, channels that create manifestation, hey? So watch out for that initiative quality of trying to do something really powerfully and fast. I know I can try this. I know I can do this. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it now. Watch out for that. <laughs> Last two pieces. If you've got the 23 and you don't have the 43 on the other side to watch out for. I'm also speaking from a place of these centers being undefined. Um, your throat center being defined here by your 23, you have the gate of blurting. Hi, that's me. On the other side, we have the gate 43, which is about insight. And that's what Venus is bringing in. So you might feel an excessive need to, um, sh to empower with what you know. I know, I know, I know this. I don't know, I don't, I don't know that. But you're gonna talk about it anyway. You're gonna try and structure mental concepts into a unique new framework, an individual framework of understanding. Ha, <laughs> that's me. <laughs> that's happening to me right now. I don't have the 24 on the other side. I do have the 61. If you have the 24 and the 61 coming in like this, it brings a channel of awareness. So, you know, trying to prove that you are certain in order to get over the fear of ignorance that you have, because if you have the 24, you've got a fear of ignorance. And the 61 can lead you to wanting to answer everybody else's questions. Why is this happening? What's going on? Why me? Third line. Why me? <laughs> Why did this go wrong? And what does it all mean? You know, where, where can we find inspiration? Where can we find inner truth? Trying to answer everybody else's questions. Yep, that's what I'm learning about. Okay, so that's our brief transit report. I hope that that's helpful in taking a look at the transit in relationship to your design.